Good morning, everybody. Happy Monday. Um, I'm super excited about this project because I think it'll be really fun and it turns out really cool. So um, we're going to be making Keith Herring figures on foils. So Keith Herring is a pop artist and he makes these really fun figures dancing and moving. Um, I'll show you a few examples and I usually do this project with my fourth grade. Uh, I don't think that we did it this year. I don't think it was done while I was on maternity leave. Um, so, but if you are a fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth grader, then you've seen it because you, well, you've seen a project similar, you've seen his work. Um, this is something new, so you haven't done this before, so I would love um, to see you guys try this out as well. So here's some examples of Keith Haring's artwork. So as you saw in the examples, um, the Keith Haring figures are very colorful. The paintings are colorful. There's a lot of movement. Um, they're purposefully very simple um, characters drawn with, you know, they, they don't have any hair. They're not wearing any specific clothing that would identify them. Um, and Keith Haring did this because he wanted everyone to be able to identify with his paintings and the figures and how they make you feel. Um, so our figures, to make our figures, you'll need um, tin foil and permanent markers. So unfortunately, this won't work with washable. Um, so permanent markers if you have colorful permanent markers. So here's the example of my Keith Haring figure. So it's a little different than his art pieces just because when we do this project, we normally do the the figure with like a simple background using kind of like polka dots and like the little lines that show the black small lines that show movement. So these are a little different, but they're very fun to make. And as you can see on the tin foil, it gives your markers um, this metallic look. And thank you to Miss King who teaches Spanish in our high school because she was showing me online um, these cool art pieces on tin foil. So um, we're going to make this using just regular homemade tin foil and then the figure will be in the style of Keith Haring and it could be in any, you know, doing any position that you want it to. Um, so we're gonna start with a piece of tin foil. It doesn't really matter how big. And then um, I fold mine in half because, actually, I, I use the shinier side. But I fold mine in half just because it doesn't need to be, well, actually, I fold it in half in case you poke a hole through the one. Tin foil is very thin. Um, I have like a thicker version of aluminum foil at school, but tin foil is actually quite thin. So this is close to the same size. And then I don't quite need this big of a rectangle, so I'm just going to trim the edge. And that, that way, like, if you didn't quite fold it evenly, you can give yourself some, you know, touch it up with the scissors. Okay, so the Keith Haring figure is going to be, like we said, really simple. They don't have necks, which always cracks me up. So it's just, we're gonna start with the head shape, add the arms, and then add the torso, and then go ahead and add the legs. Um, and you do want it to be pretty big so that you can really you fill your space, but you wanna leave room, obviously, to have these cool designs around it. So I'm gonna use some permanent markers and I'm picking a gray color. Well, actually you guys should would probably wanna see. So never mind, I'll use black. <laughs> uh, I used a gray color at first, so I thought if I messed up, it'd be easy to color over, but we're just gonna roll with it. So the way that I made this figure is I started with the head shape, which is just a half circle. I hope you can see that. And there's no right or wrong. You could have your figure with one, one arm up, one arm down, both arms down. They don't have to be both up. Again, you can look at the examples from the video. And then I'm going to make a little space. And I've got the hand. And then I'll come back down. So sometimes with the tin foil, it will kind of like I don't know, I have to like go over it a couple times um, so that I know that I've really got it. Okay. 
And even like the hands are very simple. There's no fingers or anything like that. All right, and then I've got the torso. So I might this time do this leg going up like that. So it looks like the, my figure's kicking out. Oops. And then I'll make this leg, maybe going back and down. <laughs> Libby is doing our normal routine of Sesame Street. We got her a, well, friends of ours got her like one of those bounce seats. So we're, she likes it, but not for long. <laughs> Where she can like put her feet on the ground. Great, so there's my figure. So once you have your figure, you can choose a color to fill them in. I think I'm going to choose um, for this one. I really liked, in one picture, there was a really cool orange one. Um, but I don't know if I love the orange with the black outline. So I might actually choose purple. Purple. Okay, I'm going to do a time lapse of the coloring. The only thing I want to mention is when you're coloring on tin foil, like I said, I folded mine in half because I um, accidentally, like if I, some of my markers have a little tip and if I push through it would cause a little hole. So I'm going to do a quick time lapse of coloring because you guys um, are familiar with that and I want it to go quickly for you. Okay, all colored in. And the one thing I wanted to mention about coloring too was that um, the permanent marker will eventually come to the point where you could like put your finger on it and it's not going to smudge. But for, you know, a couple minutes, I would try to avoid smudging it with your fingers because it, it will, um, it'll kind of smear across your paper. So what's really cool is actually if you flip over your tin foil, you can kind of see the figure you've made. I'll show you the back of the one I made. So you can start to see your designs from pushing through and it will actually show up more if you put your tin foil on like a soft surface. So if I were to put mine on a notebook, um, it'll show what's happening on the other side because it kind of pushes right through. So if you want to do that, it would look very cool. So once you have your figure all drawn, then you can start to make these cool patterns and lines around it using all different colors. So I'm going to start with this turquoise color. And my first line is just going to be kind of simple to go around my figure. I'm going to make sure it's thick enough. Um, I noticed that some of the lighter colors can be a little challenging to see, like my yellow, even though I, I think I made the circles kind of big enough to where you could see it. But at first I was going to do a yellow line when I made my example, and I found that um, it was hard to see. So you'll notice maybe some of the lighter colors are just more challenging to, to see them. So I'm gonna do this around the whole figure and I'm not gonna keep you guys forever. I'll do another time lapse of how I finish this, but I do wanna do just a couple patterns with you so that you can see. So I'm trying to get my line pretty close to my Keith Haring figure, but not too close. because I, I think it looks cool when you can see the metal of the tin foil coming through. Okay. Keith Haring is Mr. Bain, who teaches high school art. It's his favorite um, artist. So I always think of Mr. Bain when I make an art piece inspired by Keith Haring. Okay, so, so there's my first line, and for my next one, then I could do something fun like dots, so I might pick, let me see here, maybe I'll pick a blue, I'll try, actually I just did turquoise, so maybe not, maybe I'll pick a, a green, let's do that, I'll pick a light green so you can kind of see how that the light green's a little bit hard to see. So if I'm gonna make dots, I'm gonna make sure I fill them in pretty well so that you can see them. And the same thing with the dots, I'm just gonna kinda trace it along the line I've made. 
along the whole thing. So this is really fun because you can make any kind of pattern um, along your along your figure. And if you make a mistake, just roll with it. I mean, you could, if, you know, if your line accidentally like smudges off, just make it a thicker line. Um, you can switch colors and make, you know, your dots two different colors. I'll show you one more pattern after this one, and then I'll just do a time lapse of of the rest. But I hope you guys have fun with these. It was, it's kind of fun to search around my house and see what I have and see what we can make art with. So this week I'm hoping to make some more lessons that will can, will include stuff from you know inside your house or even outside. Hopefully the next few days we'll get some good, some good weather. Okay, so last pattern that I'll show you is I was gonna show you how I did um, this line with the with the squares inside, and then I'll try that with I'll do a pink. Ah, I it. Okay, can you hear the cookie song? <laughs> uh, okay, so for that I just did one line and then you'll notice too at like some point you won't be able to add like I won't be able to add another line here so I will once this pattern is done I'll just be working off the edge Okay, then I'm just going to add a second line that goes right along the first one. So in some cases, it's going to go off my foil. Which is okay. I hope you guys had a nice weekend. The weather wasn't very good. For the most part, we just cleaned our house. Very fun. Okay. And then I can just go ahead and fill in those squares all the way around. So these are my patterns. Some other ideas, I did a wiggly line. Um, I made kind of bigger dots, smaller dots, thicker lines, thinner lines. But you could, you know, be even more creative and maybe add like some zigzag lines, some other shapes. You could do two lines that like actually touch right next to each other with different colors. So whatever... Um, Whatever makes you guys happy, I would be so excited to see. And I hope you guys have a great Monday. And remember, these are optional. They're for fun. But if you feel like it's something you want to do, I would love to see your artwork shared with me. So um, you're welcome to do that. And I hope you guys have a great Monday. I'll do a time lapse to show you how I finish this. And I will see you tomorrow. Bye.